On 95.7 The Game, and let me get this going. Let's welcome in Gary St. Jean. Gary, let me uh, let me read something. Guru and Gary St. Jean are going to be out at Bay Street, Emeryville from 2 to 4 this Saturday. It's the grand opening of the new Bay Break Dining Terrace, now featuring a Shake Shack. Follow them on Instagram at Bay Street Emeryville for all the event details about special food, access all the local heroes, special prizes, and more. Two to four this Saturday. What's up, Saint? Gosh, it, it, you guys read that beautifully. <laughs> and you know what? Gru and I are going to be there having tons of fun. And it might be a little competition, so I've, I've been working out this morning. I'm trying to get ready for this big contest. Wow, look at you, Saint. We're going to have a good time. And I said, I'll hang out with Saint anywhere. But if you're telling me it's a watch party and we got ball, cuisines, and drinks, I'm in. <laughs> me too. I'm with you. Can't wait to see you. 2 to 4 p.m., Stoney. That'll be at the Bay Break Dining Terrace. And Saint, let me ask you this, because we're going to get into Warriors, but... How's your bracket looking? Well, not so good. I didn't have Fairleigh Dickinson, and I didn't have Florida Atlantic, and I didn't have Princeton. So I'm kind of slipping. But, gosh, I'm sure excited to watch these games. And, you know, Matt and I are from the East Coast, so I was talking to my buddies this morning, and, you know, they don't start till 6.30, and they're watching till midnight. Right. We have the beauty of starting at 3.30. Got to love it. We got Michigan State playing in the most – World's most famous arena yeah. in the garden. Got to love it. Yeah, it's. Uh, I love this. This week is my favorite week uh, of, of the tournament. Me too. For sure. I'm with you, Matt. Uh, let me let me ask you this, Saint. I know. I know. You know. 74 games in. Uh, you you kind of are who you are, but you know the Warriors yeah. won a game last night on the road. They had to have. I just want you to. If you're a coach, all right, and and you really know that one game is never. The pivotal moment, one way or the other. What do you? What do you think Steve Kerr's thinking today? Well, I think he's he's feeling good about his team right now, and you know we've got the unknown with Wiggins, and we don't know if, if Peyton's going to be able to play. That would be a heck of a boost on the defensive end if both those guys could come back in the next few weeks. But um, you know there were a lot of things to like last night. I, in particular, to me, was the bench. Uh, maybe Kaminga's one of his best games. I don't know that he got enough credit for the job he did on Luka. Um, I thought he was terrific in that height and quickness. Now, Luka had been out a while, but I thought he really affected him. So kudos to him. I really liked the way Poole played. He was under control. He wasn't trying to set the tempo of the game. He played within the game. He let the ball come to him. He read the game in front of him. And really, a, a six to one turnover ratio, a solid from the floor, and you know, I, I thought Green and Lamb did a good job. The bigger guys coming off the bench, so I, I thought that was the key to the game. Four in a row, they've won on the boards, and uh, mm. you know, I look at Dallas and my son Greg's coaching there, and they've got injuries with you know guys out like the Warriors. But I thought the Warriors just just owned the paint, and I thought that was a big key in the game. So Steph. You know what, guys? I, I can see Steph Curry doing this for a long time. He managed the game perfectly. I thought Bullock did a great job crowding him, getting in his space. What do you do then? You drive the ball. You make the team rotate against you. And he was finding the open man, what, 13 assists? And uh, he didn't force anything. He was terrific. You know, Clay didn't have a big game. I, I really like Draymond and Looney. So, you know, you're home for a little bit. The schedule's okay. Matt, I don't know what you guys, Guru, I don't know what you think. Hey, we could see the Clippers or the Suns slide below them. Yeah. I, I think they're a solid six right now. Yeah, Sank, you're on fire. And I'm going to say this. So much, I don't have to tell you, but to me, so much of life is about feeling, you know, your, your instincts. And I'm looking at this Warrior team. They got four rings, as you know. But let's just say things stay relatively close and they're the six seed, as you just mentioned. This will be the first time they've entered the playoffs under Kerr. This whole regime, you know, this low of seed. And I'm asking, what's your gut feeling on any team they would, you know, dance with and their chance to actually get this done if there is no Wiggins returning? Well, Matt knows where I'm going. I'm excited about the fact they might play the Kings. 
You know, that's six sure. and three. Because I think Memphis is locks. They're staying up there now that Morant's back and they're playing well. And I think Denver's staying there. So we're staring this right in the face. We've never had a good Kings team along with a good Warrior yeah. team. One of them was up. The other one was down. While the other one was down, you know, so this could be just a ton of fun to watch this series. It's a great matchup. I think they're doing a great job up there, Mike Brown, our old pal. And uh, can you win that series? Heck yeah, because you can't teach the experience that the Warriors have. That That's big. Now, if you get beyond there, would you get those guys back? Maybe so. Then I think you can keep going. But if you don't get those guys back, uh, that second round would be challenging. Gary St. Jean joining us on 95-7, the game. Hey, let me ask you about, uh, let me go ahead and ask you about Greg. Uh, so is he, yeah. is he is he the number one guy down there? No, he's number two. Okay. Sean Sweeney's number one, and he works on the defense, and Greg's doing offense, and my gosh, he loves being with Jay Kidd. You huh? know, Greg's been, it, it, you know, this is all about people. You guys have a chemistry. You work great together. Greg's been blessed. He worked with Mully for four years at St. John's. Wow. Two years with Frank Vogel, with Jay Kidd. They were both assistants. And now in his second year, after a great year last year, he's out now on the front of the bench with Jay Kidd. And I don't have to speak anything about him. Everybody in the, Oak, in the Oakland Bay area knows that's that's one of our all-time greats and a great person. What is he, about 30? 30? 32. 32. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's Good great. for him. Hey, it's nice to be doing something you love. Wow. No, no doubt Tell about it. Tell us about it. Say, I'm going to throw you a curveball. Stani doesn't know where I'm going, but you just mentioned it. <laughs> St. John's has a new coach, Rick Patino, yeah. And to me, he'll always be the coach of the Louisville Cardinal. <laughs> In today's world, how, how St. John fans, how soon can he turn that program around with the way the college athletics are now? I think he'll be in the upper half of the Big East next year and uh, maybe have a shot at the tournament. This NIL thing, I call it the Wild West. He's got big, big backers back there. He's got Wall Street guys and a lot of other mm. guys, and St. John's fully committed. The president of the school, Father Shanley, was the president down at Providence. Uh, right around the time he was down there, and Jeff Van Gundy was his assistant, I've known Rick Patino since he was a sophomore at the University of Massachusetts, which is probably about 50 years ago. So I've known him a long, long time. And listen, he's had some uh, issues off the floor, but in terms of coaching on the floor, he's he's just one of the best college coaches we've ever had. Mm. Yeah, no doubt about it. Hey, Sadie, thank you I'll so much. I'll see you Saturday, and, uh, buddy. Two to four. Hey, girl, I'm doing some push-ups and sit-ups. <laughs> I'm getting ready, buddy. There you go. I'll be. I'll see you there. All right, I'm no. buying the first round. Look, oh my God, maybe I, got, I will come. Hey, I got a hundred dollars too, just saved up for you, you and I. So I'll spend it when I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Uh, see you. All right.